Welcome back again, everybody. Aloha from the Stands Sheriff Center. Here are your Hawaiian Tel Federal Credit Union starting lineups along the top of your screen. The University of Hawaii in white and black, and the Bruins, of course, in baby blue. And we are underway. JP Marks getting it going on serve for Hawaii in the first swing of the night, blocked by Stephen Hunt. That's a good sign because they touched, talked in the pregame show, Chris, about the fact that UCLA hugely outblocked Hawaii in that last meeting on January 14th. Hawaii with the first block there, but then it's interesting that UCLA goes to their middles right away. They love those two guys who hit 500, 536 and 528, I believe. Big numbers they hit in the middle. JP Marks, good pass by Case Beer. Setting it up and a free ball for UCLA as Averill knocks it over with two hands. Off the block and the first point of the night goes to Nick Vogel on behalf of the Bruins, the 6'9 senior. Well, Hawaii had a chance to score in transition there and did not convert. Overpass. And the ball put back down on the Hawaii side by 6'8", senior Weston Dunlap. So 6'8", and 6'9", you heard Charlie Wade in the pregame talk about those two big guys in the middle, and they can dominate if you allow them. And that pass by Hunt just a little bit over, maybe a little adrenaline going on there. Good floor wipe up here. Taylor Averill diving to the floor. Even just a small thing like that, a little floor wipe up can disrupt the server especially a guy like Quiroga who relies a lot on rhythm. Young man from San Juan, Argentina, and Stephen Hunt puts it down with a hard kill, or even it deuces here in the early going. Howard Dushevsky, Chris McLaughlin, glad you can join us on a busy night here in the UH Manoa Lower Campus. Nice pass by Hunt that time, corrected his, uh, his distance that time to the center. Biscaro gave him a great set. Hunt found the seam, the hole between the two blockers. Nick West now serving for Hawaii. The toss and the serve just out. First service error of the night for either team. 3-2 UCLA. These Bruins beat Hawaii in three straight to claim that championship in the Outrigger tournament a little more than a month ago, a month and three days ago. Taylor Averill, and that's long. Not off the block. They were looking for a touch, not even close. But in that block match, or in that, that match, Chris, Hawaii hitting 306, very respectable, but UCLA hitting 341. West put back by the Bruins to the far side in Hunt. They're gonna set it up over the middle, Quiroga. And that's off Costello, and way up into the stands. And the Bruins rip off three in a row. Five to two, the score here in the early going. Bruins looking pretty good in transition there. They made a nice dig in the back row. That time, Wes Dunlap was the one who got the play started. Averill again flying out of the back, and this time off the touch. And a good thing for Hawaii is Averill just both of his big swings have been a little bit long, but that one just caught the fingertips of the Bruin playing. Well, he knows he's facing big blockers there, so he's got to hit high. He's facing Wes Dunlap, uh, who's 6'8", and the other uh, middle, Amberg, is 6'7". We got a 6-9 setter on top of it. And Hunt, a ball, just trying to jam it down Hawaii. And they put it right back on over. Nice help block this time by Hunt. He goes up with Caldwell, knowing that Caldwell's an attacker. He's a 6-9 setter. How about that? <laughs> Unbelievable. And, and, and uh, the scouting report was that Caldwell likes to dump it once in a while. The ball gets passed too close to the net. But he's not a, too unsimilar to Taylor Averill, who could be a setter for Hawaii. Hunt locked at the net. This time they go to Averill on the near side, off the fingertips and just out. Off Case Beer. Averill did a nice job of mixing up his shots, hitting it down the line there and hitting it soft. Let's take a look at Nick Costello getting the coverage right there for Stephen Hunt, who got blocked. And Averill, a little wipe shot off the left hand of the outside blocker. That was smart Case play. Beer. And so Hawaii. Gets three points in a row to tie it at five, and then Biscaro service error. Biscaro was really, I watched him play in the fall, and he really had his jump serve going very steady, very smooth, very consistent. In the winter now, he has struggled more. He's back, he struggled so much that he's gone to his jump float the last couple of matches. Caldwell takes one off the top of the tape. 
Averill with a good swing and puts it down just inside Evan Motro. So Taylor Averill, three swings, a couple kills on the night, and we're back even, our fourth tie here early, six all. Biggest lead, three by UCLA. The Bruins jumping out to a 5-3 advantage. And the Bruins, of course, trying to rebound from a rare loss. With a 10-match winning streak snapped Tuesday night at the hands of Long Beach State. Thomas Amber with the kill. Amber with that left hand all bandaged up. He's got a couple smashed fingers you see right there. Actually, what he, what he has, I asked him about it before the game. This is actually a preventative thing he's got on there. He actually has, he's torn the webbing between two fingers several times. So now they just put it on. It's, it's trying to heal up now. So they put it on, but it continues to get ripped. So it's a, it's a webbing issue, not a Ouch. finger issue. Whatever it is, that doesn't sound very not, comfortable, Not does fun, it? not fun at all. Oh. That swing by Nick Vogel goes out. And Hawaii back into the advantage, leading eight to seven. So Charlie Wade talking about the fact that these guys lost. He said, that's a good thing. We know they're beatable, but as we said in our opening, definitely it caught the attention of these Bruins. So they may come out a little extra inspired tonight. Lofi setting Averill. How's that? Of all people, Jared Lofi stepping in because Nick Costello is on the bench right now as a libero. Lofi serving while, while Costello's on the bench, so Lofi becomes the alternate setter. He puts up a nice high one for Averill to wipe off the block. Lofi floats the serve over, may have been out, and a good dig by Hunt slips and then manages to get it over two-handed. Over the middle, flying in is Case Beer. I think we're gonna have a net violation against Hawaii Point UCLA. They call it on Averill. And Averill uh, a little upset about that. He's saying, I don't think I got the net, but UCLA gets the point nonetheless. Yeah, he did. Uh, Averill kind of looked over at the down referee and was not too pleased at the calls. You get a good look at Charlie Wade there on the bench in his third season here. As the head man, of course, spent many years. And speaking of many years, Al Skates, 50 years. How's that <laughs> Sam Pascaro just had his back to the net and still managed to get the block, but it didn't matter, made contact in point UCLA. Well, Pascaro's still in the back row right now, so he really couldn't go up and block, it would be illegal. So he went up and faked like he was in a block, turned his head, and blocked with his head. That was illegal, too. <laughs> J.P. Marks. Nick Vogel blocks it, but out. And a point for Hawaii. So the Warriors lead it 10 to 9 here. They're looking good here in the first set against the Bruins. And J.P. Marks picking up where he left off. Last time he had 11 kills, hit 292. Going up against guys like that. Nick Vogel at 6-9. That serve just out. I don't think Averill missed that one by much. But clearly, I think Hawaii's got to take some chances from behind the service line to get this UCLA team out of the system. Because when they're in system, they're as good as anybody in the country. Marks with a good pass. And Marks getting the set that he is roofed. And that is Weston Dunlap who comes up big. At 6'8", 200, he always comes up there. Dunlap at 6'8", he's the middle blocker way out there. And Caldwell, the center, 6'9". That's a pretty big block, about as big a right side block as you'll see in the USA. Back to Marks this time with the easy roll shot. Overpass, little joust at the net. Contact made by the Bruins, net violation. That'll be point for the Hawaii Warriors. Caldwell actually followed through into the cable which is the only way, place that where they call nets these days. Anything happening below the cable, they don't call it anymore. Like you can rub your back into the net or you, you know, somehow mistakenly net below that cable, they won't call it. Which is good. Setting to the near side. And that is Gonzalo Burogo, the outside hitter from San Juan, Argentina. Obviously the strategy by the Warriors that time was to have Kiroga go one-on-one -on -one against 
against Biscaro and make sure that Hawaii had two blockers up on the meat of UCLA's offense, and that's their middles. We saw the grimace that time in the face of Quiroga as he hits it into the net. Well, he leads them in service errors this year on, with 45. Now he's got 46. He also leads them with service aces with 19. His older brother plays on the Argentinian national team. And Nick West serving for Hawaii, and he hits it long. So both teams struggling a little bit early here with the serve. And back for the Bruins, it'll be number six, Weston Dunlop. Dunlop with 19 service aces on the year. Off the block and the overpass, and then contact once again. So we've seen several oh, well, violations. Yeah, how well again. Following through into the net, Al Skate says, please don't do that anymore. Don't give him any free points. <laughs> Even at 13, back to serve. One of the co-captains, Sam Biscaro, here in his third year with the Warriors. Overpass, Costello there. He's going to set it up for Hunt. Oh, dug up nicely back there by Motro. And then Hunt again. This time manages to pierce it through the block. I like the way that Stephen Hunt bypassed both free ball opportunities. He could have jumped up and attacked those balls. He was about four feet off the net, but I think he would have gotten stuffed on both of them. So he did a nice job of stepping back, getting his approach, letting Nick Costello take the pass and let uh, Biscaro run a play. Fourth lead change, Hawaii back on top, 14-13. Good serve off the net. The ball hammered down just in front of the outstretched arms of J.P. Marks, where even at 14. Look at Case Beer with the two-tone mustache. Look at his kill percentage against Hawaii back on the 14th he of January. A, he had a big night. He and Kiroga both had a big night. And that serve is out. And that takes us to 15, and that's our first media timeout here at the Stan Sheriff Center. So Hawaii coming out, looking good. Swing for swing. It's 15-14, Warriors on top. Okay, back at the Stan Sheriff Center. Just enough time, Chris, to bring us the keys to the match, courtesy of the folks at Kyle Permanente, or Kaiser Permanente, excuse me. Well, for UCLA, they're the dangerous wounded animal. They got really hurt on Tuesday night by losing to Long Beach State in five. They lost, a, that was a 10 match win streak they had. First time they'd had that in 10 years. And you know what happens to wounded animals? They play very tough. And for Hawaii, it's all about the serve. We'll see if Hawaii can serve and keep, keep UCLA out of system so they cannot set their big guys. Watch to see if they pass the ball beyond the three meter line. If they get inside that three meter line, they can set the big boys and then they're very, very dangerous. So another service error on the part of Hawaii, even again at 15 all. Piscaro setting up for Hunt, doesn't get a lot of Steam on that one, and then right over the middle, back the other way at Hawaii is Thomas Amber. He hammers it down, and Amber with three kills now in the night early. Early stats in Hawaii out hitting UCLA, out blocking UCLA. Digs are about even. And Taylor Averill off the block. And a timeout, Charlie Wade to take a quick break. They just gave up three straight points. One he led it 15-14 in the first break. Now Al Skates like it when he sees. Let's go, Bose. They need to get going now. Down by a couple. Let's check out the series record. They're sponsored by Aston Hotels and Resorts and the Bruins with a decided advantage. UCLA had a head start on everybody by hiring Al Skates 50 years ago before <laughs> other teams even had a chance to get going. It is pretty remarkable to do anything for 15 years. Hunt dug up back there by Matra. Nice play by him and a good swing and a bigger block. Jared Lofi with the roof at the net. Nice three-man block that time by Hawaii. Wolf both wing blockers came in and helped out. They knew Case Beer was going to come out of the back row. It was pretty obvious where the set was going. And Scott Hartman coming in for the Hawaii Warriors as a serving specialist. He's a sophomore out of Encinitas, California. 6'4 sophomore. We haven't seen hardly anything from him on the season. Played 10 matches last year. 
that one's going to be hit out. And long. And so the Warriors bounce back out of the timeout with two quick points to tie this match up at 17 all. And once again, Hartley back to serve for Hawaii and short arms it into the net. Well, serving specialists really had a tough job. They, they've got to come through big time and on time. And they got to be warm. They got to be ready. They got to be accurate. They got to follow up a good serve with an even better serve. West did really get a lot of heat on that ball, but it didn't matter. Not a clean connection, but at least Nick kept the ball in play. He knows he got away with one there. This ball is a set. Not where he likes it. He tried to turn it, actually. And just couldn't get all every, everything on it. He tried to do a little screwball on it. It was almost like swing left, hit right. Exactly. And another service area is Taylor Averill. Puts a little bit too much mustard on it. It's another area in which Hawaii's leading. It's not a statistical category you want to lead, though. And that's service errors. I think that's, uh, right now, that's five, six by the Warriors. UCLA's got three. J.P. Marks getting a good set and taking advantage of it to give Hawaii the point and even things back up at 19. So who's going to be first to 20? You can pass up there by Stephen Hunt. Got it up there where Mascaro can set three or four different players. He chose Marks, and Marks came through hitting the high hands. He's going up again against a huge block. One of the best blocks, if not the best block in the country. 15 ties, six lead changes here in this first set. And Costello thought he got it. And the up umpire says, no, point UCLA. The ball just kind of pushed down by Nick Vogel. Yeah, when, when a player jumps up that fast, you got to take another look and see, well, did he really get under there? I didn't think he did. When he jumped up that fast and questioned the call by Ernie Ho, maybe he did get a piece of it or slid his hand underneath. Let's take a look and see. This ball's thrown down pretty fast. Oh, looks like Hard he did. To see, but yeah, I think he did. There's another angle, see if he gets under there. Uh, I don't it's know. It's hard to tell. That's a tough one. Even, even with the benefit of instant replay. Oh, look at this. Third look at this angle. angle here. Yeah, it was oh. down. He didn't get it. <laughs> he didn't get it. Look good. Did a good job of trying to sell it. Hunt hammers it down. Stephen Hunt earning the kill, putting it right down on the court in front of Hiroga. Stephen Hunt in a good rhythm right now, and, and Biscarro setting him right where he likes it. So Lofi back into the match, and Brooke Sador coming in now, and Sador will be counted on to put a good serve on it. I really like the way he served the ball this year. He comes in, he's delivered almost every time, and he's got some heat on it. Again, tough to come in as a serving specialist and get the ball in. But he's done a nice job. He's going to be a good one down the road. A bump to the forehead. There it is, as he always likes to do as part of his routine. And a good serve. Nice pass over there. Trying to jam it down and doing it successfully is Weston Dunlop. Oh, what a pass by Kiroga that time. That was a good serve by Sidor. Kiroga popped it right up so that UCLA could get in system and set one of their middles. Dunlap, as you said, jammed it down. It was almost a, a you know, a throwdown. But they uh, did a nice job and found the floor. Now skates. And I talked to him before the game. He said, I said, Coach, he said, uh, I noticed that on Tuesday night, you didn't pull guys out. You, you lost in five, uh, and uh, you're getting beat by a pretty good Long Beach team. You didn't pull anybody out like you usually do. He, he usually has the quick yank. He said, don't worry, I'll be doing it tonight. <laughs> Somebody's not playing well. He's going to take him out. Overpass, and Lofi had a shot to really put a swing on it. Just kind of pushed it over. And another opportunity now for the Bruins. Off the block, and that's going to be out. And a good swing by Jeremy Casebeer. And Lofi had an opportunity on that overpass. And Charlie Wade is going to call timeout. So 22 to 20, the Bruins jump out to a two-point advantage here. It's crunch time. It's set number one. You're watching University of Hawaii Men's Warrior Volleyball on OC Sports.
Back at the Stanley, want to take a look at the Mid-Pack Petroleum leaderboard. You know, Chris, records? Well, the phrase is, records are made to be broken. How could this ever be broken? Uh, I don't know. I don't... Uh, <laughs> you know, he's got more wins than the entire rest of the league, except for two guys. You know, you add up all their... Their, their wins, and they don't add up to Al Skates. Pretty amazing. Uh, I think that record is pretty much, you can put that one in marble. And another big swing by UCLA. They've ripped off three in a row. We were tied at 20. Now they've got a 23-20. And Stanley Hinkle going to come in for Taylor Averill. Opposite position. Averill not playing poorly. He's got, he's got uh, four kills and... And uh, on a six tries, he's hitting 500. But the reason he's brought in is, and he's being sub for, is that Charlie Way's run out of timeouts. He's used up both timeouts. He's got two subs left, so he decided to use one here to slow down the server. And Averill, they go right to him, and he goes right at Weston Dunlop. To Hinkle, Stanley Hinkle. Or, or Hinkle, excuse me, did I say Averill? I'm sorry. Yeah, he had a big win. He came in for Hinkle, but not because, not, he came in for uh, Averill, but not because Averill was playing poorly, but. Charlie Wade really need to slow the game down, and he ends up getting a set. I'm surprised he got set that early. Well, he wasted no time in going to Hinkle. We've seen him come in in numerous situations this year at Mascaro. I know frustrated him. I mean, Charlie talked about it. I asked him about the frustration value because, again, we saw UC Irvine, Hawaii playing great in the first match, yet still coming up short. And he says, well, one of the guys that's really frustrated is, is Sam Mascaro because you know, he's a veteran. He's been here. He knows the importance. And here it is now on set point and an ace to win it by Kuroka. UCLA. It was 20-20, and they win the first set 25-21. So the two teams are going to switch sides. Al Skates walking right in front of our table. For another look at that big serve for the set.